Hello folks, um, today I'm just going to be doing a, uh, a little tutorial on how I do um, basically a siren synth. This is just going to be, it's probably going to be the simplest one of them all, um, and uh, this is going to be a whaling synth. Um, <clears throat> but this one's going to be a, um, an analog ESC-864. So, um, I'm going to be basing this off of the 480 hertz tone, which is kind of a rare tone, but um, I'm going to go through step by step on how you can do it, so um, yeah. So first of all, you're going to want to have Audacity open. Um, if you don't have Audacity, I definitely recommend installing it if you want to do this because there's no other way you're going to do it. Unless you have, like, I don't know, some other thing you use. But um, I'm using Audacity. So we're going to want to first start off start off with the windup. We're going to do chirp. And uh, I have my waveform as Sawtooth. And you're... It doesn't matter what numbers you really have in here, but if you want it to be... Um, a 480 hertz tone you want the end to be 480 and um, the start it's basically what it says right here this is the start off pitch of the wind up and this is the resulting pitch of the wind up and um, have the amplitudes the same um, I have my interpolation as linear and the duration is going to want to be 48 seconds. Now, I know that sounds like a super long wind-up, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. So there you go. This is the whole wind-up right here. And um, the reason why I have it this long is because analog um, Whelans have a... Like when they wind up and wind down, they don't just... Um, raise pitch at the same speed um, when they start off they start off fast and then as it raises to its pitch it starts to slow down so we're gonna do that same effect now you're gonna want to select that audio track effect sliding stretch now I have my initial tempo change to 200 and this is where you want it. This this is how you want your sliding stretches to be. And you, we're going to be doing this a total of four times. So you're applying the sliding stretch four times. So it, okay. It's going to take a little bit of time considering it's kind of a long piece of audio. Okay, so that's once. We're going to do it again twice should it should be shorter every time and then you're just gonna want to keep doing it until it gets to three seconds all right one more time there we go so now we're gonna want to add the duration of the tone so if you want it to be a full three minutes, you would um, have it for three minutes. So now we're going to generate tone, and you want to make sure the frequency is the same pitch as the end um, of the wind down. And the duration doesn't really matter how long, that's just how long this, the pitch is going to be going. Um, I'm going to do it for 27 seconds, so that would be a total of a 30 second um, test, I guess, if you want to call that, want to call it that, whatever. I cannot talk today. Um, and then you want to get rid of that black beam thing there, because that stops the pitch. Um, and now for the wind down. You want to make sure like this is not selected when you do this because if you do it's going to add it to the end and you don't want that you want it to create a separate audio track you want to do chirp again 
and instead of having the numbers like this, you're going to reverse them, 480 to 315. Instead, you want your duration, I, I have it as this, this is where you want it. Um, you want it to be 20 seconds, so the wind down will be, it will really be 10 seconds. Um, so select effect, and you only apply the sliding stretch once for this wind down. Alright, there you go. And now, I'm going to copy that and paste it to the end of this here. Now delete that audio track. Now select this, and now it's time to add some of the basic effects. So I'm going to start with the bass and treble. This is where I have it. The bass is at zero, trebles negative thirty, and the volume decibel output is two. So this is basically where I have it. And then I say apply. And now you want to go to graphic EQ and this is where I have it basically you want these five right here to be up the 315 Hertz 400 500 630 and 800 um, any other of those being up it'll create a weird overtone and you don't want that so now you're gonna hit OK and it should look like this if there's a little um, line there in the middle that usually is just a little clip in the sound but there is none after this so now for the moment we've all been waiting for basically a, um, a 30 second test of a 480 Hertz Whelan with a ESC 864 controller. I think that's the, it's the only controller you can have a pitch like that because they um, allow custom pitches. But yeah, there you go. Um, that is the, that is it right there. Um, if you want me to do more of these, I can do more tutorials on how I do them. But yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and get Tom from, keep Tom away from my videos because I'm tired of that stupid bot always commenting, keep up the good content.